Mass shootings are preventable. Other countries have done it, okay? So if we're actually the number one country in the world like we claim we are, I'm sure we can handle a problem like not murdering each other with assault rifles. Except not when there's shit like this on the internet. My friends, I, I just learned about this shooting in Florida. My friends, parents, listen up. Kids, listen up, please. A lot of you guys sent me this video, so let's listen to what this angry grunt influencer has to say. He has a t-shirt with the words respect on it, so. Your political correctness is not more important than a child's life. These kids knew this guy had a problem. These kids knew this kid was nuts. Yeah, so here's what we're not gonna do today, Sean. We're not gonna blame the victims, and we're not gonna blame PC culture for a fucking maniac who strolled into a gun store, bought an AR-15, carefully planned out his school shooting, made the FBI aware that he was gonna do a school shooting, actually went through with it, and then walked out scot-free to hit up a fucking subway before getting apprehended. But what are we doing? What kind of generation are we raising? What are we teaching? our kids don't say anything what in the absolute fucking hell are you talking about heaven forbid you go to a teacher or somebody else and say this kid's creeping me out we can't do that nowadays because you're labeled a bigot a racist a homophobe something how can you blame the kids for not raising the alarm about a possible shooting especially when they did actually raise the alarm they did warn others the fbi knew about the shooter there are so many problems here before arriving at your insane conclusion that i'm worried for you but i'm also worried about our society as a whole when these insane tinfoil head ramblings were shared a million times and they were seen by 26 million people broken face Facebook is broken. Holy shit. Here are some facts, Sean. The kids did tell people. They did tell their principal. He had disciplinary problems. Even the FBI knew about it. So if you're gonna get outraged, perhaps get outraged at the FBI for not taking action when they could have. Especially when they're so good at coercing random troubled Muslim kids they find on the internet into becoming terrorists and then tossing them in the prison for life. They're great at directing their efforts away from white supremacists to focus on more pressing matters like black identity extremism. Probably because some of y'all keep missing the plot. Your sensitive snowflake feelings are not worth more than my child's life. Your weirdo gearhead fetish for a murder stick is not worth more than your child's life. A kid who has raised red flags with his violent past shouldn't be able to get a gun when the state won't even allow him to purchase liquor. Your political correctness is not more important than a child's life. Is your right to play with bigger guns worth more than your child's life? The commercial interests of gun manufacturers that pay politicians to the NRA to ensure that no reasonable legislation ever passes are not worth more than your child's life. Your feelings are not more important than my child's life. I can't believe you use this tragedy to yell at snowflake culture, you boomer ass, fake ass, Santa Claus motherfucker. I've been covering mass shootings for a while and before you call me a sensitive snowflake libtard, let me tell you, I do handle guns and I am fascinated by the American culture surrounding the second amendment. But this, Congratulations, you've done it. You've made the dumbest video on the planet. Some on the left are already politicizing this tragedy by attacking the second amendment. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Evil will always be in this world and evil people will always find evil ways to do evil things. The solution isn't to start stripping away rights. So what's up, Tommy? Should we just not try to make it harder for evil people to do evil things with laws and punishments because they're gonna find a way around it anyway, right? And this isn't just a Tommy talking point either. Here is presidential hopeful wet boy Marco Rubio preaching that exact same talking point yesterday. If someone's decided I'm going to commit this crime, they'll find a way to get the gun to do it. Yeah, fuck it. People find ways around breaking the laws, so let's just not have any laws. Marco has gotten $3.3 million from the NRA to deliver statements exactly like this one. Imagine if Republicans were intellectually consistent and made these same statements about drugs, especially like marijuana, for example, at the federal level. Imagine if they felt this way about a woman's right to choose. Back to you, Tommy. Thoughts and prayers might seem laughable to some of you. No, Tommy, thoughts and prayers from regular citizens is not laughable. I've mentioned that before. They can provide comfort and solace in a time of trauma. But you don't give a shit about thoughts or prayers since you run the same commentary after every single mass shooting, Tommy. You politicize the tragedy by asking not to politicize it, and then you attack the left for trying to get reasonable solutions to a problem, whereas your solutions are unfortunately unreasonable. Maybe more Jesus, more God, 
more prayer and more compassion is what we are missing. Can you believe she fucking said this? She's like, more, it's not gun control, it's Jesus that we need. We've been delivering thoughts and prayers, both digitally and also in the real world for a very long time, and none of the mass shootings have stopped. Actually, as a matter of fact, they've ramped up. So maybe, maybe we should give this other thing a shot for once. Maybe that's why these 17 year old victims and survivors are asking to actually politicize this tragedy that they are in. They're also kindly asking you to shut the fuck up. So maybe take their advice next time. The only way to stem the bloodshed is to keep these weapons out of the hands of individuals willing to commit mass carnage. But as long as you and your right wing gun caressing cohorts refuse to admit this blatantly obvious truth so we can impose some limits on who can buy guns, the bloodshed will continue and that blood will be on your hands. I'm Hassan Piker. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. And also, please don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I will be responding to all of them. Also, don't forget to follow my Instagram at Hassan D. Piker, my new YouTube page, and my Twitter at Hassan the Hun. And this has been The Breakdown.